Hey guys, how's it going? Ricky here from Most Valuable Podcast, here to give you my 2016 season preview for the Ohio State Buckeyes. And this is going to be a fairly easy review for me because I expect Ohio State to be really good this season. However, how they do in those last two games are really going to decide their season. And offensively, yeah, Cardell Jones isn't there. Yeah, Braxton Action Braxton Miller isn't there as well. However, you still got JT Barrett. So at quarterback, I I would just I would say you guys are fine, right? You guys aren't nervous about the quarterback situation. And I mean, yeah, you do lose Michael Thomas in the receiving game. You can kind of throw Miller there too because he did play receiver for you guys that last year. But still, you got Noah Brown, you got Corey Smith. You're fine passing the ball this season. I mean, with JT Barrett, it's just, okay, can you step up and be the guy after being behind Cardell, after being behind Miller a few years ago? The huge question is running back. What are you guys going to do? Because Ezekiel Elliott's in the NFL right now. He took his crop top all the way to Dallas. Not sure if he could wear the crop top at Dallas. I don't think he can. But for running backs, you guys you guys have a decision to make. You're either going to pick redshirt freshman Mike Weber, or you're going to go with the H-back in Curtis Samuels. And for me, I say you got to go with Samuels. He's been there before. He knows the system. I mean, yeah, Weber was a redshirt freshman, so he has been there a year, but it wouldn't be that bad. I think that Samuels is your first sure. Like if you're naming a starter day one, boom, it's Samuels. But with the running back position, it's not like quarterback. You can throw two guys out there and kind of see how they do. I wouldn't be surprised if Ohio State kind of does that running back kind kind by committee kind of this season and then lets Samuel take the bulk of the carries. And then on the offensive line, I mean, your biggest thing is you've got Pat Eflin kind of moving over from guard to center. So it's going to be really key to get his relationship and just his kind of mojo down with JT so that there's no bad snaps there coming in from a guy who's moving from guard to center. And when it comes to the defense, it's kind of the same thing that we're dealing with with the offense. You guys are losing a lot. Adolphus Washington, no longer there. Joey Bosa, no longer there. You also have, like, there's just a ton of guys that are now gone on the defense, but the one guy you're bringing in, you're keeping, is now the junior linebacker, Raekwon McMillan. He's going to be the big key, the leader to me, on this defense. He could be a guy that we see go first first round draft pick in the NFL draft this upcoming year. And the big thing for the defense is just going to be, I'm going to take a saying that you usually hear from the Baltimore Ravens in the NFL, next man up. It's just one of those things where you've got people leaving Bosa, Washington, the big two on the defensive front that I mentioned, and it's just who's going to step up next. And on the defensive line, I'm assuming all Everybody in Columbus is now looking for Sam Hubbard to see what he's going to do. But Urban Meyer, he has a system put in place in Columbus to where you guys are going to be a good defense. Like I said, Hubbard stepping in for that defensive front to be the anchor there. Then you got McMillan in the linebacking core. And then one guy I didn't add in Conley, who is going to be your top dog in the defensive backfield. So I think this defense is going to do well. It's just going to be how do you guys put it all together and replace the missing pieces from last season. And now looking at the schedule a little bit, but just to wrap up this video, I love your schedule. I mean, you've got two tough games at the end. You're going to East Lansing this year, but you're hosting the Wolverines from Ann Arbor, Michigan Wolverines, that is. And I mean, yeah, you're playing at Penn State. You're playing at Washington. But really, to me, it all comes down to Big Ten style. It comes down to those last two games. I think you guys can go into Madison and win. You guys will go in to um, University Park, Happy Valley, and win. And really, it comes down to can you go into East Lansing and win? And then can you beat Michigan at home? Non-conference, your big game, the big one that I think you guys could maybe lose. I mean, Tulsa, you'll win. Bowling Green, you'll win. But at Oklahoma, 
Boomer Sooner. And how I see this season going is that Oklahoma game, I think that's going to be a tough game. That is going to be maybe an overtime victory for whoever wins it. I'm throwing it as a toss up. I cannot give a winner yet because that's the type of that's the type of game that the committee can look at and go, who's a playoff team? Who's in, who's out? Or possibly, hey, let's give these guys a rematch. If I had to put money on it, I would say you guys would win that game on the road. Like I said, overtime fashion, just shocker. And I think you guys can go into East Lansing and win. The big game that I have you guys losing is against Michigan. And I know that all the comments just started coming in, how stupid I am for picking Michigan over the Ohio State. But it's just one of those things. I'm really high on Michigan this year. I think that it's going to be one hell of a game. Jim Harbaugh and his boys are going to come in, give you guys a run for your money, and that could be your only loss. So at the end of the line, I think that, yeah, that Michigan game is a loss for me right now. And that could be your only loss with the only other one I see possibly being that game at Oklahoma. But that's going to do it for my preview of the Ohio State Buckeyes. Let me know down below, Buckeye fans, what you think, really how you feel about that Michigan game. Besides the, hey, you're an idiot because I think my team's going to win, really let me know what you think about that game. I really want to get into the kind of heads of Buckeye fans for this one. Over my left shoulder over here, you can check out all our social medias, Twitter, Facebook. Most important is patreon.com backslash most valuable podcast. Just another way for you guys to help support the channel. Make sure we can do cooler stuff for you guys. We're trying to do everything we can. If you support us, we can do a lot more. So go check out patreon.com. That's going to do it for my preview. I hope you enjoyed it, but as always, have a good day, everybody.